Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. If this is your first time visiting this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video. And also hit the notification bell for all the upcoming videos. Today I'm going to show you guys how to use chord inversions when you're playing a chord progression. Chord inversions are very powerful to know because it allows you to not move your hands all over the piano while you're playing a simple chord progression. And I'm going to show you guys what I mean by not moving all over the piano, moving your hands all over the piano. Uh, I'm going to use this example in the key of C major. So we're going to be playing the uh, chord progression of 1, 5, 6, 4. And if you don't know this chord progression, just uh, visit, um, uh, just watch my other videos that I have uh, showing you how to play this chord progression. So 1, 5, 6, 4. So the 1 is going to be C because we're in the key of C major. The 5 is going to be G. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The 6 is going to be A. And the 4 is going to be F. So I'm going to play this chord progression using the chords, uh, playing the root versions of those chords. And then I'm going to show you the difference playing the same chord progression using inversions just to show you guys how important it is. It's very important to know your inversions. So this is the one chord, C major. So one, five, six, four. Again, one, So this is the one five six four using the root positions of each chord. So now I'm going to be playing the same chord progression using inversions and just watch my hands on the piano to see how very little movement is being done because I'm using the chord inversions. So I hope you guys did see that. Uh, using the inversions, it's easier to play than uh, using the root positions of each chord. So once again, this is the chords and the root position, C major. Then I'm gonna move my hand all the way to G major. And I'm gonna have to move it again to A minor and move it again all the way to F major. So the movement is C. As you guys can see, there, there are a lot of movements in order for me to play these chords. But now look at my right hand playing the inversions. So this is still C major. This is still the same four chords, C major, G major, A minor, F major. You see, my hand barely moves just because I'm using the inversions. So inversions, let's say C major. This is the root position of the chord. And we have the first inversion. So this is the root position, C, E, G, first inversion, and second inversion, and back to the root position. So once again, the root position, first inversion, second inversion. 
So me, I was using the second inversion, which is, I had the G on top, and then C, and then E. And the G major was the root position, A minor was the root position, and F major, this is F major, uh, the root position. First inversion, second inversion, back to the root position. So me, I was using the first inversion. So which is A, C, F. So once again, the chord progression one, five, six, four. It's a C major second inversion to a G major root position to an A minor root position to an F major, the first inversion. So once again, the progression with the inversions. So this is how cool it is to know your inversions. You have to know your first inversion, the second inversion for each chord that you play on the piano. And if you guys are having a hard time to find the inversions, you can check out my other video on how to find your inversions uh, for each chord that you play. For your major chords and the minor chords, it's gonna make it very easy for you to move uh, to move like through the chord progressions. Uh, some chord progressions have a lot of chords in them, and once uh, you know your inversions, it's very easy to play them because you don't have to move your hand all over the piano. So let's say if you're playing C, you don't have to play F all the way here. If you're playing C, you could just play F like this. So from C major, you just move two notes and you're playing F, which is the F second inversion. So which means instead of playing C and move all the way to F, you could just play C, then F, second inversion. Once again, it's extremely important to know all your inversions uh, when you're playing chord progressions. If you guys did like this video, uh, don't forget to leave your comments and if you have any questions. And also, subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to like and share this video and hit the notification bell for all the upcoming videos. I'll see you guys in the next video.